said. This makes the weather suspicious. You gotta be sure you hide. <laughs> you can monkey about traps and trouble boxes without upsetting people if you're we wearing a boiler suit or a disguise. Many Bobbies carry useful keycards. Dr. Faraday made them single use, probably to be irksome. Or so she thinks. Only, only council and workers are supposed to repair things in Monkton Wells. If you wear a bullet suit overalls, people will assume you're one. Or so they think. And the bobs come running. They'll be irked to find out you're blue with though. <laughs> oh man. How could poor old me have could have done such a thing? Sneaking there's no place like home. Mm -hmm. Bad dreams get hallucinex. Hold on. I'm wearing this new for some extra protection because why the hell not, right? Uh, let's see. Eh, doesn't say like you piss off people, so there's that. Yeah, I've got a lot of pheromones wool too, which is going to be quite useful. Anyways, stick up tea and everything else. Uh, shit. Nope. Hallucinix. God damn it. Why do you always press the wrong ones? I will never know. Huh. Roaming free. Oh no! Butterfly roaming free. I have to just go about my merry day. I have to find some, right? I got a lot of, you know, these blueberries, but they have no medical purpose whatsoever. So that's, so that's what I'm gonna break in here. Just want in this color. And... I'm gonna kill everyone. Oh, this looks fun. vision or whatnot, because if they could give me some night vision, that would be handy dandy. Mm. Hmm. Okay. The quest items, yes. But what about... Hmm. Oh no, I have no flashlights on me. What a what a shit. Actually, kind of curious now. There you go. Don't don't you wish you could take a pill and make you healthier? Oh my God, I'm dying. Permanent increases. Ooh. In that regard. Health increases permanently. Sweet. Tiny bed. Tiny bed. 
she take the vanilla? You know you're not going to Yeah, they just keep on you know, about the bitching eh, every single time and whatnot, yeah? Next diary. Rubles, green capsules, skeleton pyramids, what? <laughs> yeah. Ah. Alright. Oh, yeah, 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 that's a butterfly. They remember now. You can have you can. I think butterflies are much easier to find by night time, I guess. Uh, let's see. I must have a bit of a bearing on the map, which, you know, I don't really properly where could a few. Would the flies be? Which is quite weird. Oh, this is Walt Picnic. Hold on. I'm happy to report the graduation of a new It's well, right? Like some rolling berries too, but the regular medical healing bomb is good enough. I'm sure, it's a medical one, but whatever, right? Whatever it is, maybe. They've quite got the hang of ambushing people. Do I have anything to lower the pallet? Are they getting a what? Picnic. She is loud 
and stubborn her feet abide and not in her house. the hell the damn place is, but whatever. Cellar. You know what? Fuck it. I don't want to let it go get every day for the time being. I think about night time or two. The butterflies usually hover on by the fox club, but if that night time has to come, Here's what I can do, right? There's some little red plants too. I haven't thought about that. Say on the No, thank you. Concealed in it. What the fuck? Give me a moment. Right. Actually, no, thinking looking at this uh, little fortress over here. Maybe I could actually go poking out. Oh, poking out. Oh. Yeah, butterflies, they can usually come through here. You know, like these little spurs over here. Little thingies here, so. Yeah. Although they're much more easy to find at night time, I always don't know. When I get a bed, wake up at late at night, and so on and so forth, right? It's funny, I mean, how you know, just two leaflets, just two little leaves, or leaflets, as you can call it, the little, the little flowers and everything, and then, and then I get myself, uh, Completely industrialized little ball. Kinda fun, isn't it? Oh yeah, it works. It works, I guess. I should kill this guy. No, I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, worshippers only. Oh, they did lock down, pull down the door, haven't they? No. Nah. God damn it. God hecking damn it. What can I do about that? There's a dig spot over here too. Maybe should probably maybe I should find something to throw on my way over there. Having my keyboard to use it. I guess not then. Nine 
it does. Gotta catch them oh. all. <laughs> it doesn't kill you, makes you strong, eh? I'd better not catch you getting into my stuff. So funny, ha <laughs> Bummer. Mm. No, I'm not gonna remove this for fuck's sake. Anyways, yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah. Cindy. And here they are saying that I would have to wait until night time to get me set up some ha my hands on some goodies. I that was wrong. I'm so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. about 4 p.m. till I get there. Uh, from, from going to point A to point B to B and A and so on, right? Alrighty. Can we get away? I suppose. I suppose. Not for hangovers, I'm a clock, I'm a clock, i a bit. Then ride it out. <laughs> I always want to see like the full animation, but... Yeah. Oh god, my feet are killing me. What was wrong with again? Hallucinix, alright. Here we go. Some of the knockout juiceable too, sleep tight. Chlorine. Antiseptic. Berserk spike. Hmm. Stoic. Has no effect. Some more sunshine too. You know what? Even the flash is all too. Twenty of these ones. Yeah, they're useful. Some of these ones will 
two. Come to this result two. Go back to this one. And another one is this one. Wow. This is a good man. Again, exactly. Oh, ha 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 ha! Don't know if I should have saved that one for more, but I don't know. Before should I? All right then. Where was it? Dexy Pam. Stamina increased permanently. She may look with teeth, but she can kick some ass. Hold on. Inventory. The sun. Alright. Ooh, wow. Well. That's quite a lot. That's actually pretty good, actually, too. Good. Let's go all the way to Let's home hatch. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, to hell. I don't actually like long walks. Pain. Yeah, there's still back here too, which is a bit of a problem. Rotten carrots. What am I supposed to do with all the little shoes? Better, huh? Dotty! They've stopped whispering. I love you, Bill. The eyes of God, Dotty. I'm glad. It's all dark. Get some sleep, Bill. I love you. I'll sleep now. Goodbye, Bill. What did you do? You wouldn't understand. You've never really loved a man. You gave him something else, didn't you? I'm going back to the village now. There are some things I won't need anymore. I buried them behind this house. You don't mind getting your hands dirty, do you? You poor dear. I just want them to stop screaming. That's all. You lied to me! Now I see what the boys like about fighting. Unconscious. Oh, Lord, I want to. <sighs> mm. Right. There. Haggard. Fucking 
Democrat. You shouldn't have to eat your dog. You should never have to eat your dog. Ditching me for the posh girls in year seven. There we go. Oh, he's back there. Back with you, huh? And I did eat. Indeed. Going back to the village now, hmm? Rated. Nice. Clothing, otherwise, I'll get my ass kicked out there. Let's have a look at you, shall we? Mm. So better, buddy. Mm. Tip top shape, aren't you? Yeah, we're so pleased you survived the garden district. You know, I've actually crossed into the this here, but whatever, right? Again. Oh well, St. George's Hall. I miss my calling. That should have been a secret agent. Huh. Steal the boat key. He'll have the boat key in his office. I'm sure of it. Christ almighty. He's set for the apocalypse, isn't he? Lisa. 
have to cut me in on two. Is it now? Okay, good. There are some advantages to being smaller than everyone else. What is it now? You can hear it, can ya?
was all empty was. Fuck in a bucket! No! Oh. No! No! In a bucket. I don't just see what the hell was When I told you to come to my safe house, I meant knock on the door. Not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen's safe. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Verloc's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? No. Come, look. What's going to show me? It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Food for a year. Vitamins, first day. Vitamins. How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. You can't go. The doctors are scouring the streets. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not going to do that. I think you will. Baby's going to get hungry if you're not there to feed her. You bastard. You are horrible. Sally, do you love her or do you just love having someone who needs you? Let us stay with us. Here. Please. This is no place for a child. She's just a small thing. I'll make you happy. I promise. Jesus, you'll come first. I, happy. I can make you so happy. You're just like when we first met. I think I've just pissed him off. I've got to get out of here. Sally! Oh, Sally! You won't be leaving this facility without me. I have the only key card. Oh, lovely. I've got to take him down somehow. This is a really nice lab. Maybe I can use his own magic against him, somehow. Somehow? Somehow? Whatever I can find, that is. I can make morpholine. If I throw it in that fountain, it'll steam off morphine gas. And down he goes. You're trying to come up with some clever chemistry, aren't you? It's a shame he heard that. I like you, Sally. Why do you have to be so damn difficult? Who else is going to give you what I can? Had it only been just that, right? Had it only been just that, I know. What am I looking for? What the f There we go. Hello, thin. I think I'm there. Ah, maybe it's this? What the fuck am I doing?
I looted up everything there was to loot. Now, why didn't I? Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Camouflaging to these. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now I'll just have to turn on the fountain. Out of all the places. Again. Right. Let's get this over with. Hold on. Haven't noticed me. Why is he so fucking creepy? Look at him. It's fucking terrifying. <laughs> you bloody witch! <laughs> maybe so, maybe not, I don't know. This key card. He's got all my stuff in his office. I better get it back. Thank you. 
pretty, really pissed off too. <sighs> he vanished. Isn't that amazing? You can't do your senses. <laughs> I've done terrible things, Sally. I had to do them, but the mob despised me for it. I think I deserve a little consolation in my old age. I'm not your consolation prize. How do I... was I in there? I've got to get back to Gwen. That is if it's not too late. Uh, doctors. Oh, the fucking doctors. Oh, Lord. Lord Jesus. At least uh, the, uh... Is that a new suit? It's fantastic. Right, though. And just about as fast, too. Mm. <laughs> All right, what else am I missing? each other's backs, I mean, I could actually move in for a kill. But until then, that's a no-new. day for it. The neighbors think you've got a downer in your house. <laughs> Not me. If I were any happier, I couldn't walk in these heels. <laughs> That's a joke. They heard someone crying. Love to chat, but I'm expecting Sir Robert any moment. Then you shouldn't have provoked Dr. V like that after he tried so hard to put you out of his mind. Look, you tell Anton that the general is going to be really fucking pissed off. I don't think... He much cares anymore what mood Sir Robert is in. Give me the picture extract. Personally, 
I'd like to see your customer list. Sure, I don't mind. Odd. Something I've not Let's smelled the since... The That's wary. a baby! Yes! Isn't she adorable? Fuckity, fucking a buckety bucket. Okay, think, Sally. If he doesn't come back, they'll send more doctors. We can't stay here anymore, can we? I've got to move you someplace safe. being such a loud mouth. No? Please stop crying. Please. This would be so much easier if I had someone to help. But it can't be your daddy because he's a... Well, I think he's a bit of a psychopath. And I suppose if I were with him, the moment you went to sleep, he'd want attention for himself and... Then I'd be so desperately tired I'd bludgeon him to death. And wouldn't we be in a pickle then? Suppose so. You and Gwen are finally escaped the mainland. Are you ready? Once you pick her up, you are done with any other adventures in Welkin Wells. But until you get at the boathouse, you won't fight or even throw things. It's going to be dark in here, darling, but when you come out, you'll be as safe as you can be. You're going to be as quiet as a mouse, aren't you? Because you don't want Mummy and you to be torn to tiny little pieces. Just go to sleep for a little while, alright? Now all we have to do is travel safely across the entire city. And not upset any doctors, or any townsfolk carrying torches, or pitchforks, or plague victims. Oh, the Wait, stories you'll have when you grow up. Well, this is going to be quite the adventure. Then again, guys, can I ask a question? How bad do you think this is gonna go? Mm. The water filter. Just make it look less suspicious. A brand new water filter would be fucking amazing. Oh look at that, can I make a torch in time? I'm giving Daniel too. Sleep tight analyzer. Yeah. Just gotta save up on these things, you know. Hatches. Since I was quite resourceful. Boots were amazing, I think. Story. Telepathic. 
explain how telepathic she became. <laughs> These tracks would be so much nicer with trains. Let's get out of here, shall we, Gwen? Shh. It's almost over. Let's just lower this into the water. anymore, will they? Make as much noise as you like. <laughs> Maybe I'm not such a rubbish mum after all. You'll never know how alone someone can be. You have me. I'll have you. <laughs> I'm happy, would you? Nope. We're 
we're gonna have such adventures. We'll be the two musketeers. Three, Holly. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you mad. Huh. So I hear as I see. Hmm. I'm probably forgetting something. Oh boy, here goes nothing. I wonder if the latty got away all right. Wasn't that the caper? I thought he'd never cut the power. Well, I hope she likes it. That wasn't very nice, what you did. To Arthur. What did you do while I was out? Stuff. Chanterelle? You're a master of conversation. Look what I got you in the warehouse. Oh. She's so pretty. It's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was a lock? They're all quite mad, you know, the home army lads. Did you know the power switch was a lock? I think they want the Germans to come back. It's the shame of it, you see. You bloody knew! For heaven's sake, Auntie, times are hard, but you and I are neighbours from way back. Tanks are hollow, Ollie. What's that? The tanks, they're made of papier mache. Like we made at school. We could have fought them. If they didn't really have tanks. Did did you know they were fake? Of course not. I would have had to lie my way off that train. I would have told the lads. But, We'd have risen up. But Ollie. Oh my god. You were the general secretary. I did. You must have known. You don't forget a thing like that. I lied my way off that train. If we'd have known, we'd have risen up, we'd have had to. I promise Percy I'd keep him safe. We'd, we'd have we'd saved try. you and everyone else's kids. Didn't you hear me? I have to go find him. Oh, the bridge is crawling with policemen. There's that thing Majig you told me about. But I was going to use that. You, you were going to leave me? No, of course not. You're my daughter. You'll never believe you're a bridge inspector. You're right. You're always right. Take this to the Maiden Home Bridge and tell the Bobbies you're there to fix the bridge works. And from Maiden Home, I can get to Apple Hall. Oh, and say hello to Percy for me. Well then, see you on the other side. I don't see how you could have not known. I couldn't have known about the tanks, Meg. I'd never have forgotten such a thing. I'll see the General. He'll tell you. He'll tell us I never knew. Margaret! He has to. Margaret! Ah, for fuck's sake! Someone's broken in. Look, down there. Waste trolls. I think they're setting up some kind of bomb. Oh, for 
fuck's sake! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! Boom all top, I got some for you, all right. Be there, you thought. <laughs> Sergeant Oliver Stark, he had a three-time arm. Oh. Ouch. Well, man's gotta keep his fortress intact, right? At least he can get out of all that What the hell are they getting explosives? I don't believe in ghosts. to get out of here. Away and boil your heads, you weightless cocks! It's... Go forth and sin nay more.
Don't forget all your things on the ground floor. You don't want to leave them behind. Better get everything I can scavenge out of there. Careful, those people might still be here. How the hell do I get out of here? The doors are blocked! We can't stay here. The roof's going to fall on our heads any minute. How about we go back up and jump off the roof? Are you crazy? Well, I have that parachute, so it's better than it sounds. You're going to take a parachute up to the roof and jump off? If you've got a better idea, don't be shy! It's in hell. need to get up on that roof. You're not seriously going to jump off the roof? Come on, live a little. Uh, bad choice of words, sorry. Get what's coming to us in the end. Are you sitting there, Fugues, right? Well, what if Private Wuss's name lied to us? Calm down, he's not stupid. We've got him locked up. If we don't come back, he'll starve to death. They've captured one of the home army lads. He could signal somebody for the window. Then why don't you fuck off back to Canary House if you're worried about it?
You never liked me, did you? wanted to try it. Parachuting, I mean. I've already broken my legs once. Don't recommend it. If this doesn't work, I won't feel stupid for long. Trunks away! Margaret, wait for me! Those fucking wankers like rubble. I'm never going back there. It doesn't matter. He'll tell me I didn't know about the tanks. He's got to. But we can't get into the military camp. I wonder if that soldier can help. The one the wastrels kidnapped. Mm-hmm. Vignoli. People don't like you, not just because you occasionally insult them. You don't fit in. I don't know how well you treat people who don't fit in. You're a muscular trained soldier. But if you want to avoid having to murder people set aside, with when you're trespassing, you're mechanically brilliant if you, if you can't use a camp lab. But you can't use a camp lab to save your life. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be quite a good one. Wow. All right then. I feel surprisingly poorly for a man who's just jumped off a building. Your blood sugar's probably low. You better use one of those syringes. find a beehive nearby and steal some honey. I prefer to think of it as harvesting, thank you very much. George. 
Oh, I'm gonna get some honey, but whatever. Alright, alright, let's see what we got. First and foremost. And craft survival stuff, which is a pretty goodie. Boiler suit, but I got any. Oh, a pad suit, no less. Hot scrap, horse linen, and sewing kit. Our own wee bonnet bun. Hmm. I don't know what to do exactly. Got actually 18 of these ones. Hurler. Oh, what's this? Trap Star. Cardi. Picky Picky. Buff. Mm hmm. Interesting. This guy actually has a lot of good things too. Unwell. Sugar blood. Slow. Can't run fast. Strong. Uh huh. What else? Troublemaker. Like only for excellent reasons. And a mechanic. Mechanically adept. Chemically hopeless. Hmm. Let's get the first here. At least. Boy, sure. ah! Sorry, I had to see that. Almost as sweet as you, Margaret. You're a real charmer, aren't you? You're a tough crowd, Meg. Do you know that? Shoulders. To be honest, at some point I always thought Ollie was like a big. You're here. Cancel. I know you're here. I see you. Where's yeah, still your bastard? He doesn't even give a shit anymore, does he? He doesn't.
get bought the other one, another, another four, why not? Pipe down. I'll give it a whirl. How the hell does all this work? Kaboom. So, that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. Because I feel like it. Thank you for asking. This uh, art was a, was, a, was a balance between chemically adept and mechanically adult, too. Hmm. Here's that, then. Me, love. I'm just here to read the meter. Just passing through. I think you're you're talking about the. Uh... Oh man, trying to more these things. I've been here. I've <laughs> already been here before. Yep, the body say yes, I already have. Let this be a lesson to you then. Alright. Up ahead. Decamp. Go to Canary, Canary, Canary House. Sure. I don't mind. Well, lad, this is what we train for. Who's gonna clean that up? Oh, 
Sorry you had to see that. There's some would say property is theft. So, how'd they get you? Did they sneak into the camp? Oh, I, uh, got lost. I think he deserted. Oh, taking French leave or were you full out deserting? It's always march, 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 drill, 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 and stabby, stabby, stabby with our bayonets. For years. The juries are never going to come back, are they? I need to go and talk to the general, but they won't let me cross the bridge. But he won't let you through the front gate either. Well, I suppose I do owe you. Listen, just tell Sergeant Oldcastle you know what happened on Trim Street. What happened on Trim Street? What happened on Trim Street? Well, I'm not telling you that. I guess you're not heading back then. I guess not. See you when I see you then. Not if I see you first. <sighs> How ironic. About time you woke up. It's really boring here. I'm coming to get you! Wait, wait. Is that Ollie Starkey? Never mind then. You don't want me to rescue you? You'll only make it worse. Somehow. Sorry, laddie. I need your help. This be a lesson to you then. out of your shoulders. So, how'd they get you? Did they sneak into the camp? Oh, I, uh, got lost. I think he deserted. Oh, taking French leave or were you full out deserting? It's always march, 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 drill, 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 and stabby, stabby, stabby with our bayonets. For years. The juries are never going to come back, are they? I need to go and talk to the general, but they won't let me cross the bridge. 
Well, he won't let you through the front gate either. Well, I suppose I do owe you. Listen, just tell Sergeant Oldcastle you know what happened on Trim Street. What happened on Trim Street? What happened on Trim Street? Well, I'm not telling you that. I guess you're not heading back then. I guess not. See you when I see you then. Not if I see you first. It's supposed to itch. The wife thinks we entertain girls all day long here. Oh, wish we did. <laughs> Mum. Hmm. I made a doll of Mum. It's very like her. Is it? I wasn't sure. She was a tad taller. It's a doll? She was taller. That's not very funny. Well, I thought it was. <laughs> I'm sorry. You miss her. I guess. It's just... how everything is now. Nothing's the same. The way things were doesn't even seem real. I sort of miss it. And I sort of... It doesn't seem real. You have too much wisdom at your age. It's hardly fair. I got to be a complete numpty until I was 30. <laughs> what are you smiling for? So I see. Give me the bork. We are the hollow men. Better half an egg than empty shells. Just mine. I'm tired of fighting and running all the time. There's a big one we don't mention, isn't there? Hmm. Hold on. Or the story ones or two. Nice, got nine more. Hmm. <laughs> this got five, so are these ones all as well too. Bummer. Hey, you know what? Hold on. second why does this house look familiar because you've been passing it every week for a decade why do i have a vague memory i stashed one or two presents from a future self in there it's vague because you were drunk no one likes a nag margaret hmm. i wonder if my brother got away to canada Hi. Hmm. <laughs> away from his future self. You wouldn't happen to remember exactly where, would you? For once, she's silent.
Go forth and sin no more. This better not be heaven, lass, or someone fucked up. Never liked me, did you? Nothing like sitting when you've been walking. Wardrobes, credenzas, so on. I think the boiler suit as well too could be even easier for me to go about uh, whatever you know the Wellington Wells. Uh, I will see about that. I'll give it a whirl. Kaboom. So that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. I think I'm doing like anything on fire. <laughs>
just have to counter thine enemies. Going for my knee, I suppose. Gossamer wings, just like in the books. But the books don't tell you about them. <coughs> if we didn't join them. Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. Is that yours? I thought we could have a chat about Trim Street. You shut your bloody mouth, you fat bastard. Let him pass, lads. He's not getting past the front gate anyway. Just this once. Try it again, and I'll kill you. If you can't find something to do, I'll find something for you. Don't just stand there and go up, up to it! Find something and put it away! Run! We passed this way but once. Mm. Now it's not to question why. Blowing up the distillery? In God's name, why? So the soldiers don't get drunk all the time? If I didn't have more important things to do, I'd put a stop to that right quick. In that case... Blow up the distillery, huh? Distillery again. Out of the shelter and the shelter. Well, I just thought they were destroying the distillery then, I guess. to extract the TNT from them. We all get what's coming to us in the end.
guard. Hold on. Crampy, but hey. These would work best, right? I mean, there's good health and everything. Drop some stuff, laddie. I've noticed. Attention, all personnel. Patrols should be particularly careful in the forest. More than the usual number of plague victims have been spotted there recently. God, for Harry and St. George. You gotta be shitting me. There you are, fire! You score! It's harder than killing Germans, isn't it? They draw to the plastic. Wait, Ollie Starkey. Look, I don't have to help you if you'd rather work it out with the plague is. It's Pagan Pal. <laughs> We're in the Punjab together. Did you know him? Haven't the foggiest. Are you gonna help me out? Are you gonna help me out here, Starkey? Oh, In your mugget. See if I. Oh, you put on a bit of weight. That's impressive these days. How'd you fall in a bog? I didn't fall. They were chasing me. Look, people make poor decisions under pressure. I just gotta blow up the distillery. Then I'll tell the lads how you saved my life. They'll give you a parade. Don't blow up the distillery. Just 
tell them you did. Or just blow it up a wee bit. Hold us, mate. Hold us. Could I borrow a wee stick of dynamite, then? Oh, God. I feel dreadful. You better stay away from him. He's about to go. You better stop him before he sets off all his explosives. Our own wee bannock burn. Well, this'll blow a nice hole in the air raid shelter. Oh, now I remember Peter Powell. Real kiss ass he was. Nil nice I bonum, Ollie. Is that what you do while I'm scrounging all day, studying Latin? What's the bloody use of that? Now what? Okay. 
then. We passed this way but once. Mm. Fucking Starkey's back. I need to speak to the general. Get him, lads. What I ever do to them? You know what you did. It was a joke. All right, it wasn't a joke. What about the air raid shelter? It goes right under the fence. You're right. You're always right. I should have gone through the air raid shelter. Yeah. It's quite a good thing you said so loud. Now well, I could, but. <laughs> That's it on the double, soldier. If it moves, salute it. If it don't move, put it away. If you can't move it, put camo netting on it. Who the hell blocked up the entrance to the air raid shelter? What if there was an air raid? There hasn't been an aeroplane over Wellington Wells since 1950, has there? I'm gonna have to blow a hole in it. Just, I just so happy to have myself up. I hope this is enough dynamite. You better cover your ears. What's more fun than that? Lots of things. Now we'll just go down there and pop up inside the fence. <laughs> Ouch. I'll just have to have no clues. You're awfully good at this. <laughs> and again, not that I even did care all that much about it. A head knocker. rock for that. They're not just a cricket. Loose screw, duct tape, and a cricket bat needing. A pipe down. Who? Sledger. Irresistible. Stick one down in range of a tether coil and absorb the zap. <laughs> Interesting. And then the padded suit. There we go. At least I like that load and then. Take the naughty duck. <laughs> <laughs> Dick the naughty duck. How the hell does all this work? So that's not how you do it. I think you should stick to what you know. Aren't you supposed to be 
be at work. I quit. A soldier's allowed to quit. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I don't think he'll want me back at any rate. Not after the things I told him. The general? This is all his fault. The registry, the train, the way we bent over backwards. Wait, how can I be talking to you? You're dead. I quit because you're dead. My memory's all confused. I, I just sloshes around in my head. Does that make it easier to bear? Hmm. Might have some still some fragments lodged in his head, if you think about it. Finally, what? Finally, you. Know. Again. Amazing. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever. I could do this in the dark. I think I have. Bond memories. Careful. I don't think they like you very much here. Mm. Can't. Don't just stand there and go up. Hop to it! Don't buy an atom. The less blood, the better. Oh, Where's sucker turd, you lovey headed wankstein? Oh, that was uh, quite a heartfelt comment. Goody. you to come here. Here, I can smuggle you out of trouble. Just get him a car. I have to take the lads at the bridge their supper. I'm afraid I'm on my way in, not out. But I might take you up on your offer later. I suppose the lads will just have to wait a wee longer for their supper then. Slip and fall. I'm pretty sure these soft rocks are just gonna treat your spine, your shattered spine, really good. Look <laughs> once. Well, don't get shirty with me. Don't be an atom. The less blood, the better. My sight isn't that bad. So the sergeant said.
the bad news is, Eddie, you change with Tommy. Harry, you change with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go for another patrol for me. If you can't find something to do, I'll find something for you. It's supposed to itch. How ironic. Where the hell's Cheeseman? Probably having a wank in the bushes. Ollie! <laughs> Sorry. He's probably in the latrine. Or that. He's not going to let you in. You'll need his key. I can be quite charming when it suits me. <laughs> I bet he's still angry with you. It's been six years. Is he still deaf in one ear? No, I wouldn't be. Is that Sorry to bother you, but... Starkey! Damn your eyes! Intruder! Intruder! Told you. German tanks in the camp, paper mashing! Don't take that tone with me, Sergeant. I'll call the lads. They must have sent the real ones home after they took the town. Yes, yes, I don't need a bloody ghost of Christmas past. Before the train, tell him. In 1946, before they took the children. I know when they took the children, Ollie. We could have risen up. We could have saved them. I could have saved my daughter. Really? <laughs> would the good townsfolk of Wellington Wells have followed me into the machine guns? Or would they all have hidden in their basements? But after the war, 
You can't keep a secret like that, sir. Ollie, the safest secret in the world is a secret no one wants to hear. Oh. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, Ollie, don't you recall? You used to have such a good memory. You typed all my correspondence. When they requisitioned the newspaper and the glue, they needed quite a lot. You knew? There's holes in my memory. Like a church made of cheese and all the congregation is mice. They have to know the truth, sir. We have to tell them. The truth has too terrible a cost. Isn't that the decision we all made? Anyway, I'm out here in the Victory Memorial Camp. You don't think I'm the one who decides these things, do you? Who's minding the bloody store, then? The Executive Committee in City Hall. Oh. Why don't you drop by for a chat? I'm sure they'd happily listen to the ravings of a mad Scotsman from the Garden District. They'd listen to you, sir. <laughs> they'd tear me apart like starved jackals, and then they'd pop a joy. I think you should visit Sally Boyle. I don't want to forget. Really? Because we had this exact conversation a year ago. What? Oh. oh, Margaret. I'm sorry. Margaret. Margaret! Well, an apology makes it all better, doesn't it? I'll ask Miss Bing. You will not. She'll help me. I'm calling the lads. to get out of here. How? The cook, obviously. Right, right, right. Fucking ouch. Got you. Whoa. Hit the dirt. Fuck me. Look who's come ashore. Sherry, me? For England! And St. George! Go back to Germany! Well, lad, this is what we trained for. A battle prod. What? Oh. Ten weight, but zero value. Stop cracking your damn knuckles, motherfucker.
I hope I've not made you late for supper. if you don't lighten up your bags. Oh, that's true. I could carry a pack like this and not think twice about it. Hold on. Get shirty with me. It's not my turn. <laughs> Donald, ready to go? I might have overstayed my welcome a bit. I hop in. <laughs> Do you remember, my meat? I'm just powder saying we might need that to. I lent it. you two years ago, and you lost it, smashing some televisions. That's quite an obsession of yours, isn't it? I can't stand Uncle Jack's stupid face, damn collaborator, traitor. Now, you bought half a bottle of whiskey in recompense, but whiskey's, let's say, two bob. Five! Quiet! You want them to hear you. Two plus half of two makes only three. Seems to me you owe me at least three and a half bottles of whiskey to even up accounts. Open up! I'm off to feed the lads on the bridge! You're not hiding all these stark in that cart, are ya? I don't think it fit. <laughs> not unless I cut him apart the joints and boiled him a bit. <laughs> Just move along, if you don't mind. Highway robbery! I make it a total of eight and a half bottles of whiskey. You or me. Fine, I'll get them for you next week. I'm so glad we had this wee chat. Hmm. Crap, all off. Cart's broken down. They don't engineer like they do up in Scotland. I'm going to have to go back for parts. Do not steal the bridge boys' dinner, or I shall be cross with you. I'd never do that to you. I'd do it to the bridge boys, but not to you. Don't make me regret helping you, Ollie. Not again. And come back next week with my eight and a half bottles. Don't even think about taking anything, Ollie. You've got few enough friends as it is. Oh, I knew about the tanks. Everybody's got to know. They've got to know. If the general will help, I'll go to Waterloo House and talk to Miss Bing. People listen to her. Find something and put it away. Run! I'm getting it. Did you 
defibrillator activator. Ah, uh, yes! I got a good pee. There we go. Yeah, this sound is a big motherfucker, isn't he? Fifteen. That would make sense. If only stamina was... Oh man. What the hell Now if this is gonna work as a joy, but whatever. Observe how the concrete is used for its raw and unpretentious honesty, contrasting with the pretentious ornamentality of the Victorian buildings of the parade. Rather than hiding the structure, the surface preserves the shape of the in-situ casting forms, revealing the nature of its construction. Well, I think it's hideous. I've never fathomed brutalism myself. I can never quite bring myself to hate them, of course, the bastards. I try and... Because they're still people! Oh, I'm a bad Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Now, try to behave whilst you're in the village, okay? Hello. Would you like to donate to our Uncle Jack charity drive? On your trolley, you huffy wee fuck bumper! Ollie! Oh, oh my goodness! You're Ollie Starkey! It's Ollie Starkey! Fuck the lot of you! Jack's a collaborator and a traitor! Oh lord. <laughs> Well, lad, this is what we trained for. The winning argument. Fuck it. This is where they hanged Mr. Cranmer, isn't it? And Mr. and Mrs. Lashford. Aye, Tommy and the Lashfords. You see those bits of rope? Why didn't the Germans just arrest them? I think we thought they'd be happier if they didn't have to. And dead men tell no tales. Did you help? Nay, but I didn't hinder neither. Does that mean you're just as guilty? You're full of questions today, aren't you? We hate this guy so much. Let's pick up his fat ass and just. Um. Well, just ditch him away. <laughs> but notice a difference. Ah, uh, well. Why are you going in such a hurry? Okay, this is gonna go so bad. Uh, that's them! <coughs> Bloody! Ah! Tear up! Well, um... Uh, <laughs> what an awkward situation, isn't it? England! 
dead. Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Got a fucking brick in his way. Guess no matter <coughs> whatever he does, he's always gonna be hated, huh? Look at how shitty the pan, the frying pans worked. Whatever, I guess. You frightened me half to death wearing that! That's no a need. right! Bobby, no more, Mr. Protecting nice the Habs from the Have Nots since 1829. I've got a skulk I'm past them, or it's gonna be a bit. Map out. Waterloo House. The Baracus. Take your joy! Did it! Take your joy! They've got blood on their head! Right! Five at it with you! <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Dog I'm glad you all right with this. Is over. Jack's time now. We got here. Where boy you here, you scabby walloper? Shoulders. A bit of a bottle here. I'll take a 
quite a bit of while until um, I was gonna break the TV myself. <laughs> oh, what you so Dog. Checks multiple targets, leads the oh, wait and releases wait what? Oh chlorine. That sounds fun. <sighs> Almost there. those sugar hypodermics. Sugar hypodermics, he says. He says. Where? Zero's up blood sugar. Ah, there you go. Now don't forget to use it if you start feeling weak, but don't overdo it. It can really hurt you if you take too much. your loot. I guess it's gonna help me out the most, I suppose.
Thanks, say the blisters. That's me off to bed then. Oh, 
card. Of course I don't. Protecting the labs from the hat dogs since 1829. Right. No more fisting
how much we will have to destroy that thing. Take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh... But you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know, is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people, should understand that. Hmm. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Some sort of silly prank. When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? Oh, no. I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. The teacher to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No! You can't, please. I, I'll take you. To the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything. Just please give me my joy. I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time. Do I even need to give her joy or just let her wash off, huh? But for a bit, huh? I mean, if I loot her, it's in her entire fucking place, huh? Rat, not here. Here we go. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? You're not going to give it to her. No. I'm not. I'm gonna loot her place. 
bits of sugar, so she's got milk. I don't think she likes him very much. Hmm, maybe not. Let's see. Getting five nil. Uh huh. I see. Lost letter page. Guard Colonel Ooh. Joy Pill, three of them. Handle up whatever he has in my hand on, because what the hell not, right? What a fancy shit house. I mean, just poking around, you know, just in case, uh, shit is... Sleep tight, darling. in again? This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil down-up bastard! I am going to kill you! I am going to kill you! Sorry, I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. To answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. I see. She's got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. 
Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. At least I just slipped on, you know, the thick made outfits, because why not? <laughs> Hold, give Clyde the office back to work. Hmm. Now it's now vacant, I do hope you will see her. Letting me have it. So I'll behave in that mess. I don't know if I now I'll keep this office vacant. Hmm. Fuck it. Okay, Mr. Birthwistle, you can have as big an office as you like. Mmm, that doesn't sound like Miss Bing, does it? Or... Eh, whatever. We're done, I guess. Off you go. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. Miss Ben, is everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry, but I shall have to enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go find out? If you're going to talk to that Bobby, you can't do it looking like Ollie Starkey. Who the hell am I supposed to look like then? King Edward? Maybe there's a maid's uniform in the house somewhere. Hmm? Come in, Constable. Everything's perfectly all right. We'll just see about that. <sighs> Surprise, fucker. regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I see? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. Right. I see. Not this one. How the hell did he get to the door then? Um. <laughs> Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away! Oh, that works. Hello, it's Beatrice Dalrymple from the Executive Committee. I'm so sorry, something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. I is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. Tomorrow then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. No, she wasn't. Especially if you want to go upstairs with her trip off the dead body. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie. So they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye. I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye. Margaret. Because she was dead. <gasps> You've got to eat. Oh, I'm going to throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> Coffee yoghurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yoghurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? Joy really makes me much more to have a day, doesn't it? All right, coffee yogurt. What is yogurt exactly? It's fermented milk, like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. 
So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. Sure, I guess. Where are we snack? Well, that's coffee yogurt a la Starkey. <laughs> I hope she's not particular. Everything is quite all right. Sleepy tight, nighty night. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you better give her that yogurt. You come to your plane. This is awful. You've ruined it. <laughs> oh, Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardener's. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was quite this popular. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away! Well, I mean, I'm holding your ass off So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. <laughs> Not all maids are thin, pretty and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, mm -hmm. should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. of all the gardening supplies. She could pay me next week. Cheerio. I'll see that she gets it. There are acts of heroism you never get a medal for, and they're some of the bravest. <laughs> I need air! Open the door! I'm suffocating! <laughs> I think you'd better let her out. No, you may not just leave her in there for a bit. I didn't say a word. Hmm? Maybe it's the body that's trying to rot. <laughs> well, that's a good look for you. Suits you. You might want to shave a bit. <laughs> There's a body in the fucking, <laughs> the fucking closet. <laughs> Christ almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages. They won't know what to do on their own. All right. I promise I won't put in any secret cries for help. I just need to answer. Who the... Mm-hmm. <laughs> well then. Attempt to send away about serving, please. Prudence Holmes. Come on down there. <coughs> Come on, sire. 
Well, I spoke of her constable. Hell is Prudence Holmes! You really ought to get out more, Ollie. Hmm. She's around. Bloody draws us. <clears throat> I've never even heard of Prudence Holmes. Why don't you ask someone else? You really ought to think things Just through. I did think it through. Direction. Bloody Rosas can go hang themselves. <laughs> I'm not giving up, dear Prudence. Off you go. I was your friend. The only one who was nice to you. Why would you do this to me? This man? Enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go find out? Come in, Constable. Everything's perfectly all right. We'll just see about that. I don't think. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'll get rid of the body. Well. Worth it from here. Then I beat him to death. Loot his body. Nothing on him. Alright. <laughs> uh. Well, leave it closed because the bodies. Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Whoever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. <laughs> I nearly died. Give me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish, I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? It's Constable Nightsmith. You're busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? <laughs> you won't fool the bobbies. They'll expect their sandwiches. You think he's getting upset? Ollie, you better talk to him. Right, all right, all right. Fucking oh, sorry, way. Constable. Miss Bing is not here. Well, if you don't mind, Mom, I'll make my own determination as to her localization. You come right in. Miss Bing, you around? You better get Miss Bing back to the closet. Ah! Ah, you ain't gonna see any, you ain't gonna see shit. You fucking dead. Third body in. <laughs> the children could stop screaming. You have to talk to them. Then I settled down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> Aye. We could have saved them, you know. The tanks were made of papier mache. Little Artie Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. Except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon Says because the kids are all gone. You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. Please, give me my joy. Oh, I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. Hmm? <sighs> all right. The tanks were paper mache. The children didn't have to get on the train. Poor Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Nay, eh, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is... Zero, one, two, six. The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. It won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. That's what we have to do, Ollie. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. We don't talk about that. I'd forgotten that. Oh. 
Let's go see the executive committee. Oh. People have to know. In an hour, you horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. You have to find the letters of transit. I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry. Find them. How about you busy? Sorry, I had to see that. Unexpected. Ow! But I've got a letter of transit now. I'll see the executive committee in the parade. I'll tell them the food's running out. I'll make them listen. of what you're doing. Ah, that's a relief. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, anyway, they don't know what to do. That's not the Miss Bingo, but they're gonna do this all over again, because, hey, thanks to Bobby, well, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. Look forward to the next one. So I hope to see you guys next time and until then.